Well, I, I was actually really surprised by the number of really prominent scientists who had really nice things to say about the book, who commended it. Uh, there were paleontologists, there were bioengineering professors, there were molecular biologists, uh, geneticists in Britain, one of the most prominent uh, UK geneticists, all praised the book for various aspects of its scientific treatment of the, the problem of the Cambrian explosion. And uh, many of them commented on the, uh, the real scientific problems that they had long recognized with neo-Darwinism and other evolutionary theories that, that attempt to explain for the origin of fundamental innovation in the history of life. I mean, most scientists accept that minor variation has occurred, but these, these big events in the history of life where you get m more r serious innovation, new form and structure arising, such as occurs in the Cambrian, are not well explained by any form of, of contemporary evolutionary theory, and many scientists recognize that and were willing to say so in print, in blurbs, in uh, uh, reviews or responses to the book. And I thought that was very encouraging. Many of them also said that uh, the idea of intelligent design that I was developing was, uh, was very intriguing to them and that, that I was on the right, the right track. One said that I was pointing the way uh, to a, the, a better future understanding of biology. This was a leading paleontologist at an elite private college on the East Coast. So um, I found the reaction to the book uh, to be quite uh, encouraging and somewhat surprising because the media portrayal of this issue is that, uh, you know, that this is uh, young earth creationism or creationism in a cheap tuxedo and is religion versus science and anyone who's talking about intelligent design is doing so from a religious foundation or a religious basis and that there's no scientific evidence for this. Well, the number of scientists who are willing to say, hey, I find this intriguing or I'm persuaded by this or I'm sympathetic to the ideas uh, suggested to me that there's far more dissent from the Darwinian orthodoxy and far more openness to the idea of intelligent design than has been widely reported.